Well, hello. Uh, this is VK3 November Charlie Romeo from Australia. Just wanted to give you a bit of a, uh, a bit of information regarding uh, the uh, ICOM IC7100. I uh, got it about seven or eight weeks ago, and I uh, wasn't really into D-Star at all. But uh, since getting this rig and placing it in the vehicle. And the vehicle is actually a, uh, a Mazda. Uh, here in Australia, they're called a BT50. It's a 2016 model. Brilliant car. Absolutely love it. Um, as I said, it, well, I wasn't really in D Star. But since getting D Star, which comes in this rig standard, remembering that it's uh, an all mode, all band. 2 and 70 HF, 6 meters, etc. As well as uh, D Star, as well as digital uh, on HF and other bands too, if you want to select it. Uh, one thing I wanted to point out with this radio is I've installed a aftermarket uh, GPS unit. So it transmits its GPS information via the D Star repeater network. You can see this little. Sorry about the train going past. Little satellite thing here. It's a clear day, which it is today. It takes probably about two minutes, if that, to get a lock. If you're mobile, it takes a little bit longer, three or four minutes. But uh, it's an accessory unit. I'll put a link of where I purchased it from on eBay. I think it was around the. 50 something dollar mark including freight did take a while to get here because it comes I think from Bolivia so it took a while but quite easy to set up GPS information set GPS you set up the board rate an external GPS and realistically that's all you do you can then also look at the GPS information uh, what satellites it's actually getting. I'm actually in a bit of a covered area at the moment, so it's only getting well, what it says here, one satellite, but yet it's got a GPS lock. Let's go back here. My position, what speed it's doing, etc. So it works very well, and uh, it's basically plug and play. I'll show you the uh, the wiring in a moment. But when I transmit, it gives its GPS information, which also appears on the APRS system as well, once you've set up on there. And that's quite accurate. So I'll show you where it's plugged in. Here we go. Okay, my rig console is obviously on my uh, the console of the car, the head unit. Fits in beautifully, it's just held on by Velcro, but it's never moved. And I had a uh, 706 Mark II G there. The feed line, which is basically a cat type cable with RJ45 connectors on it, runs down, and the radio unit is under my seat. Now, the white cable there plugs into the radio, and there is the GPS unit which is velcroed underneath my seat, as you can see here. And strangely enough, although they recommend putting it near a window, which I would agree with, the GPS unit gets a good lock from sitting down, right down here, even when there's someone sitting on the seat. So there's the white cable, USB style connection here. It's not a USB dongle. And it has two connectors that run in to the radio itself. You may just be able to see them here. Again, it's plug and play. The chap, who I'll put details in this, uh, the bottom of this link, or YouTube clip, um, gives you basic instructions. It was plug and play. Within three minutes, it uh, had GPS lock. Uh, if anybody's considering one of these radios, I highly recommend it. Touch screen. Let's get the glare off there. Very responsive touchscreen. I've got a little Perspex cover over the screen, but still works exceptionally well. 
lots of features on the radio regarding audio etc so um, highly recommend it as well as the GPS unit uh, what else to say apart from yep yeah, if you like this type of screen I didn't actually like the screen at the start or before I purchased it I wasn't keen on the radio I had a friend who had one but um, since buying it now I would uh, I'm contemplating buying another one for home use as well as a base station because it does everything and I do really love uh, D Star hope you enjoyed it hope it's informative to you this is Craig VK3 November Charlie Romeo Melbourne Australia cheers